So the first thing that we're going to do is create a contents tab that we'll be using to sort all of the notes that we create, or titlers. Now I'm just going to go ahead and create a, a few here uh, so that we have them to work with. Um, I'm going to create a, a few new titlers. Uh, I'm going to call one tasks. I use that to kind of track uh, things that I need to do. Um, we'll, uh, maybe I'll, another one that I like to do is uh, create one called journal. Um, that's great too because uh, uh, there's a great journal feature in here which um, I'll show you there uh, that here in a little bit. So I just create a couple of them and uh, you know th those are great but as you know once you've closed them uh, they're gone from here and of course I can go to recent and see what I've opened up recently but what happens if these notes are like months old I can search but sometimes hey, you know I uh, I like to have a contents where um, I'm sorting those and I'm keeping those notes in logical areas that uh, you know I don't have to remember keywords that I need to search for for those notes or what I might have used or how I might have phrased that you know terminology on the internet is changing all of the time and uh, I just you know it, it's easier for me to keep my notes uh, in some kind of a logical order or fashion and that's what I use contents for and so that's the first thing that we're going to do um, I'm, in order to really use the contents uh, like I want it, I want to add this titler to the tabs. And how I do that is fairly simple, actually. Um, fighting with my computer over here on this other screen, so bear with me here. So the very first thing that I'm going to do here is create a new tab. And how I do that is by adding some code in the tag area. Now, so that I don't confuse you, what tags are are just ways that you categorize your, um, your data here. Like, for instance, uh, contents is where I want everything to be. But uh, maybe I want my journal to be in a contents category. And there's going to be a reason why I'm doing this. I click add and I create contents and I just added a tag tasks. I want it to be in my contents. So I add it to contents. All right. And uh, you'll understand the tag process in, in a little bit more clearly when I, uh, I build this contents uh, tab over here. Let's take a look. Let's do this real quick. So the first thing that I'm going to do in the contents is I'm going to add some code to the area where I normally would put tags to categorize uh, my different notes. So we'll take a look at that. I'm going to type uh, a, uh, a dollar sign colon. I'm going to refer to tags and I'm going to grab the sidebar. And what that does automatically, as soon as I save this, is that it's added a new tab over here called Contents. This Contents right here is this titler. So uh, you know, if I just start typing anything in here, um, this is my contents, and I hit save, I can see that readout in this tab. That's great. So that means that anything I display in here is going to show under this tab. Well, this tab is going to be really important to me, so I'm going to change uh, where this tag is located. I'm going to make it pop up first before the open tab. So let's change the location of uh, the order of this contents tab and I'm going to do that by going down here and adding a new field. Now, if you go down here to add a new field, um, I'm going to type list before. And then I'm going to um, identify this tab over here. And I do that by dollar sign, colon. I'm going to go to the core UI and I'm going to access the sidebar and I'm going to access that open tab in the sidebar and I want to list this tab before all of that so I'm going to do that 
I've just added that. And now when I go to save it, contents tab has jumped to the top, to the front. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my control panel and I'm gonna go to my settings. And I have this setting here called default sidebar tab. I don't want it to be open. I actually want it to open up on contents. I want that to be the first tab that opens up because like I said, this, is, uh, this contents tab is really important to me and I want it to be in the front. So now every time I open up my wiki, I'm going to get the contents tab to show up at the front. Now there's something else that you're going to want to do to this. You're going to want to display all of your notes. How do I display all of my notes, all the new notes that I create here? Well, I'm going to show you that too. It's a list item. Now, this is going to be a lot of code, and if you're not used to writing code, you're not used to markup language or anything that uh, you know, this is all foreign to you, just uh, follow the procedure, use it to create uh, this contents tab, because this contents tab is going to be, it's, it's a nice feature. And you'll, it's, a, it's a little bit of code to write now, but uh, you only have to do it once. So after you uh, write this code once, uh, you, can, uh, you won't have to even look at it again. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create um, a selective expandable. And what it does is uh, I, it uh, allows me to take, make a list of all of uh, my, uh, uh, all of my uh, notes. But I want it to focus on the contents note and everything attached to contents and I'll explain why. And the next thing that I want to do is, uh, you know, when I create new notes, they'll fall over here, but I don't want them to fall in the order that I created them. I want them to be sorted by title. That'll make it a lot easier for me to, you know, drill down and find them. So I'm also going to sort them by their title. So I've just created a list of all, of everything attached to contents, and I'm going to sort it by title. I'm going to save this. So as you notice, there isn't anything there. Why not? Well, I need to create some new titlers. So I'm going to create another titler. And I'm going to call it, um, uh, let's say that I call it tasks. I want to create, um, you know, I want to create an interface that I can use to track tasks and things that I need to do. So I'm going to save that. Oh, I've already created one that's been, oh, that's right. That's right, we just created uh, one called uh, journal and one called tasks. So here they are. Well, I added this to contents. Is it displaying? We did add it to contents. Let's go back here to the contents and see what we did. Well, I spelled this wrong. The spelling is important. This is TOC Selective Expandable Contents. If I had done that right, now I have the journal showing up here. And the reason why journal is showing here is because journal is attached to contents by the tab. And that's something to keep in mind here. The name you give your titlers is all important. You can't give uh, multiple titlers the same name. They all have to have different names because these names are what associates this titler from all other titlers. And it's case sensitive. So if I had a journal with a small j and a journal with a large j, you're going to have a different result over here. So I'm going to also add tasks to contents. And now it's going to show here. So there you are. Journal, tasks. Um, and then you can also add subtasks or sub uh, directories. Uh, let's say that I want to create one, uh, a titler called to do, where I just track the things that I need to do, but I want it under listed under tasks. So I add it to tasks. I save it. 
and show it doesn't show here specifically. Yeah, but it does in a drop down. See, there's this little carrot here that does a drop down, and you click it, and it'll expand. And that's why they're called selectable expandables. This is uh, uh, the more uh, uh, the more subjects that you link together through the tags, you'll create more expandables that you can click and expand. Um, you know all of the items linked. It's like I could create an, another one. And let's say I, I want to just up a list of all of the tasks that I've com uh, completed. And I put it under tasks. Well, and that's another thing to keep in mind. You can type that in there, but you have to hit add. <laughs> that adds it in. And then save, and now it pops it in. I do that all the time, just something to keep in mind. When you enter those uh, tags in, you have to save it. You have to add it. And uh, as you can see, uh, what you see here at the bottom is also what you see over here. So uh, this is just a, a repeat of everything that you see here. And the reason why you see it here is um, because of what we had done earlier. So we're going to go ahead and close everything down. And as you see, um, we could go to our recent tab and see all the things that we've opened up recently. But we have a nice little hierarchy of, of um, all of our uh, items that we've created so far here. This is going to be very useful to you, and I encourage you to make one. Uh, the next thing that I like to do, I don't like all these numbers here. I don't need those numbers there. There's something else that you can do here. Um, so I'll go to Recents, open up my completed tab. No, not the completed, not that one, but the uh, contents. And I go to Edit That. Wow, I'm doing really good today. Um, click on Contents, there we go. Click on that. And how I get rid of those numbers, is I wrap them in a div. And I there is in Tiddly Wiki there are some assumed classes that are already built in that have things that they do. And one of them is uh, this one, TC table of contents. And what that class does when I wrap this up in a div is it gets rid of those numbers and it makes it appear more table <laughs> makes it appear more like a table of contents. So now that I've saved that, those numbers have went away. Excuse me. Those numbers have went away in the contents tab. And uh, I can still drill down, but I don't have all those numbers in a way. It's very nice. So that's how you create the contents tab. And I was going to show you one other thing. Uh, this journal uh, tiddler is really cool. Let's say you get a phone call. And uh, you know, uh, you you write, write uh, down uh, down some notes, and I write down some notes that I took from that phone call. I save that, and it automatically, when you create a journal, it automatically adds it to the journal tag, and of course, it's now showing under uh, the journal right here. So all of the new journals that I create are going to uh, start populating right there. So it's just a really nice thing. Keep in mind, if I create a new journal entry today, it's going to use the same time, date, sequence, and uh, it's going to open up the one I had before because, like I said, these titles are all important. You, uh, they're unique to every titler. And uh, if you want to be able to create a new one, um, you know, the title has to be different. Now I've just added something there to make it different. And when I create a new one today, now that's a brand new tiller because these titles are different. So just something to keep in mind. And uh, this, like I said, uh, this contents uh, tab is going to be super important to you. Uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, it, if you were designing this software, I'm thinking that this might be something that you just want to do and have there right out of the box because people that are not very familiar with this system um, you know they want an alternate way to track notes and this is just 
Um, this is maybe one of the first fundamental things that you'd like to do to start using this right away. And most titlers or uh, you know most tiddly wiki sites uh, that you see all have a contents anyway, so everybody uses it. Um, uh, and maybe uh, another one that I want to do is software. Maybe I want to keep all of my notes about my different software. Again, I'm going to add that to the contents tab. If I don't add this to a contents tab, it's not going to show up here. But that's good in some ways from what I'm going to show you later. There are some th 